I always told myself I'd never be candid like this. That was before free pancake day at IHOP. We sat together, as usual. Flirted, as usual. She kept looking aside with a subtle smile. I returned the favor head on with a big stupid grin, as usual. I scored her to her car, as usual. We kissed goodbye, as usual. She got in, as usual. She walked to the front of her car, her back turned, saying, I wanted to talk to you. Fascinating, the power of a moment's fraction to transport you faster than the Concord to any past trinity of when, where, and feeling. Suddenly, it's 2005, I'm in my bedroom, the phone cradling the rejection and the sweet caress in my ear. A year later, the high school band room, sitting in the clarinet section, outside Hershey Park Arena, a year after that, when we'd only been together a week. Moments that I want to tear out of the photo album of my life and throw away, but all I can do is turn the page. And yet, while the prodding blade persists against my chest, there's solace. I'm not some kind of bro who finds, feeds, feels, and hangs a trophy on the mantle of his man cave and forgets. It's like waiting for the sea train in Soho. I know it'll come. Just not right now. It'll come. Just not now. I want love. Like the movie Blue Valentine. Ryan Gosling and Michelle Williams clutching each other in the back of a bus. Pompeians in the wake of Vesuvius. Vagabonds with everything to lose and live for. Heaven, they, they, they say, isn't your family with opening arms welcoming you? but an encompassing aura, and that to me is what I let her in. My inhibitions dispatch battalions to my heart and collapse its walls as she roams through every crevice of my fractured labyrinth, my savage intrepid conqueror, spreading the poison and sob for her ways. She, she breaks things, but she rectifies. She's my anguish, my euphoria. She's my mirror. I want us to see so much of ourselves in the other that the laws of metaphysics come bust on the page when our lips touch. I want her to steal my words every time she says she loves something about me that I hate. I want her to steal my breath every time I catch her glance as my abdomen drops to sub-zero and the tears rise to my throat. I want a love that will fill cathedrals in a sacred exaltation as she takes to my insides and scoops out my being like a ripe gourd and wears it as a skin through her trying storms. I want to be filled with her for decades through the pendant of her trials against my skin and the tears of devotion against my face. I feel like my body aches to be sick with need because that is the miracle of someone else. And so as I am not perfect, as I am flesh and blood, I meant to feel it. So while I don't forgive her for our separation, I'm grateful. Our caravans pass on the highway in the dead of night, and at sunrise we pulled in. I just saw her, actually, wearing the skin of someone else. And I... I'm happy.